Your confidence is everything, man. Like, it's literally the backbone of the destiny that you have created for yourself. You can walk a path and not fulfill the destiny that you were meant to have because of your confidence. Your confidence is the difference between I want this or I just don't think I really need it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're working a job and you've been there for so long and they have yet to give you a fucking raise and it's been like five years, bro, promise you go tomorrow to that employer and say, look, I've been working here for the X amount of years. I've been doing X, Y, Z. I demand a $10,000, $20,000, even $30,000 raise and tell me what they say. Tell me what they say. I guarantee most of them will give you that raise. Maybe some won't. They're just cheap fucks. But I'm pretty sure most of them will say, you know what? Yeah, we'll bump you up a couple of dollars. You know what? Yeah, we'll put you up. We'll take you from 50 to, to 65. But if you don't ask for it, you're not going to get it. And that comes from your level of confidence. Because everybody wants to say they want more money. Everybody wants to say they want to do this. Everybody wants to say they want to look good. I don't know anybody who would look at themselves if they're not in shape and say, man, I'm actually happy with myself. I don't think so. I don't. I feel like a fat fuck. And I'm not even half what these people are out there, which I, I just don't understand it. And I believe that confidence really starts with yourself. It starts with the internal external factors number one is just getting your ass in the gym and getting in shape getting in shape is probably the ultimate confidence booster that there is i don't think anything trumps working out yeah you can have a good day where you made money yeah you can go on a date with a girl and it went well but i don't think that there's any other better feeling than coming home after a pump and looking at your fucking guns and saying, holy shit, I'm fucking jacked right now. And that, my friends, is the answer. It doesn't really seem like the answer, but trust me, it is. It is. It really is. Because what happens in the gym is the first time you start going to the gym, you don't really want to work out. You're like, what the fuck is going on? This is all fucking heavy. I'm fucking sore. I hate it here. Some people actually love the gym. Like me. I love the gym. I fucking love it. I love going every day. And even though there's times where I'm sitting there and I'm like, fuck me. I have to lift this fucking weight. I enjoy it. I don't know why. I enjoy it. I actually feel good. Feeling pain. Which is very weird to say. But not a lot of people feel that way. And it's understandable. I mean, having to wake up every day and go fucking carry some 50 pound dumbbell and fucking curl it around and shit. Like, yeah, I, I get it. It's, it's not easy. It's not meant to be easy. But that's where the confidence comes in. Because you know you're getting your ass up every day and you're putting in work. You're putting in pain. You're putting in suffering. You're fucking... You're delaying your gratification. You're just getting in there, pumping it up, and not seeing the result. Because it's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to work out the first fucking month and look like a fucking bodybuilder. That's just a fact. So, reasons why the gym translates so well to other aspects of your life is because of the fact that all the elements that go into fitness, they're elements that you see in other parts of your life. There are elements that you see in your job. There are elements that you see in your business. There are elements that you see in your, your hobbies or whatever it is that you're looking to do because whatever it is that you're looking to do, if you're looking for the greatness in it, it's gonna come with a price. And so does the gym. The gym comes with a price. It comes with a price of feeling sore. It comes with a price of having to work out every day. It comes with the price of having to eat clean because you have to eat clean you have to fucking maintain your diet if you're going to be killing yourself in the gym and there's just so many more intricate aspects to fitness that are just hard they're just hard and the results you get from putting yourself through that adversity is what builds your confidence that's what gets you to the point where you're starting to feel good about yourself after a couple months 
and you start seeing some abs and you start seeing some cuts on your arms, you're like, wow, man, I'm fucking, wow. Like, wow, wow. I went from having no muscle, never lifting a weight, to now having some type of definition, some line under my chest, like some bicep muscle. And you'll see that when you start prioritizing your fitness and the way you look, and it's not even just about the way you look, it's about the way you feel too. Like, bro, like, do you wanna be somebody who has high blood pressure, fucking diabetes, you're constantly fucking in pain from walking to the deli because your ankles hurt because you're so fucking swollen from all the sugar you have? Are you Or are you gonna be the guy who doesn't eat and you can't even fucking open a door coming out of the train station and you gotta have fucking some dude or girl come open the door for you because you're so fucking frail? Like shit like that, you're gonna remember that when you're in shape because you're gonna not just look good, but you're gonna feel good. When you look good, you feel good, you feel like there's nothing in this world that could stop you. You almost feel like you're a, in a God level. And it's not even to say that we are ever anything close to being like God, but having that feeling where you feel almost godly from the work you've been putting in and you feel like a fucking Greek God, like a fucking beast, like that, that right there, that feeling right there is going to translate so well into other parts of your life. You're not even going to know it. You're not even going to feel the difference. I promise you guys, start working out. Take this shit serious. Start learning about tracking your macros and what to eat and what not to eat. Follow a routine that makes sense from a gym influencer or whoever it is you like to watch or if you need anybody let me know but but get yourself get yourself in shape get yourself in shape i promise you if you just focus on your fitness and just getting yourself in shape and just working out consistently and putting in the reps putting in the days eating clean you give it five to six months i promise you you're going to be a different person. You're going to have a different perspective on life. And your confidence is going to be fucking through the roof. That you're going to be like, what's next? What do I do now? Who can I help? What can I do? You're just going to become a go-getter. I promise you the gym is literally the number one cure for lack of confidence. Get, get your ass in the gym and fucking kill it.